Crikey, we're halfway through the year already, folks. We're doing well, I presume. Hope you're doing well. I'm okay, I suppose. And this Dyson V7 Motorhead has been okay, I suppose. The biggest thing is it hasn't pulsed once. So the full refurb fixed all that. And the new cheap battery, which again has been absolutely fine, lasts not a very long time on max, same as the original battery, a fair amount on low. So let's see how the once premium, now bottom of the line, probably just about not being sold now, Dyson has done and see what we're going to use for July. Hello, my vacuum Kalina chums. How are you today? Yes, there is a word that describes this machine, and it is mediocre, is I think the better way to describe it. I mean, it, it's been okay as long as the dirt isn't too heavy, doesn't then go up the wand, isn't too chunky, it then gets snow ploughed by this. Bar that, it's okay. Oh, and no little bits of lint either. It, it seems to not like those. I've never been a great fan of this head. I mean, look at it. It's been in use for a month. And I mean, suppose you could keep it clean if you cared. But I've just been vacuuming with it. And as you can see underneath, this bit takes all the scraping. It's, it's, it's just a bit filthy really, isn't it? And of course, you can't really clean it very well because... You can take the brush roll out, but you still can't get behind there. It's all now got to come back apart again and be clean. Because again, you know, if you remember from the first video, this isn't mine. This has all been a test. And obviously I've got to use it for a month whilst I tested it. Dirt-wise, it's, it's okay. It's been a bit filthy. It seems to like to fill up, you know, at the at the front in a diagonal fashion because when you hold it like that where you use it the dirt will do that the filter is i think okay i've not used it for plaster dust so that is just fine dust through there and i'd imagine this is going to need another wash again yeah every month you should wash this and it's not actually too bad it's just you know grubby just needs a wash and that'll come up like brand new. Let's, let's empty it and then take this out and yeah, marvellous all the fine dust that fills the thing up will now be cascading out. But yeah, it doesn't seem to really bother it too much. I mean, I'll if I put this back on, where'd the filter we go? Put you back on, put you back on, it'll probably get all this back up again. Just you know, leaving all the bits that it doesn't like. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Deep cleaner. This is not, but it's it's done. Okay. I <laughs> I haven't liked it. I don't like the height. It's a bit low. The tools are so wobbly on it. And if I use the official Dyson crevice tool, the end's too wide, and the airflow on this doesn't. It doesn't help it, really. It's all just a bit meh. As much as I didn't like the V11, I would say that form factor is so much nicer. Obviously, it's, it's longer by about that much from the machine design. So, bless it, it's, it, it's been good. I can't say it hasn't done a job. And if you want a cheap Dyson cordless, you can pick up a mini one of these in need of a refurb, you know, check it has the charger for about £40 on eBay. And I'll say for £40, if you then put the work in, not bad, you know. You have to pay another £20 for battery because the £40 ones need that. But it's, it's okay. I can't say I've hated it. Can't say I love it. It's just been all right, really. I can't ask for much more than that, really, can you? So, farewell, Dyson. Going to now message the owner and see if he actually wants it back, or if not, what I'm going to do with it. And then we shall see what we're going to use for July's cordless vacuum cleaner.
the vacuum cleaner, cordless of course, that we're going to use for July is the Ezyme or iLife Ezyme, Ezyme by iLife, however they like to pronounce it, cordless vacuum cleaner. Again, not a deep cleaner especially, but one that I found works okay, better on hard floor perhaps, but you know, certainly does the job, keeps itself nice and clean, and here it is with its weird looking handle. Still got some battery in it, that's good. The filter is in here, that's nice and clean. It literally has it was when you last saw it on my channel. It's been patiently waiting for its turn in the 12 vacuums in 12 month series. So we have the charger, we'll need that. The wand, we'll need that. Do we keep both tools out or do we just need one? We'll get both tools out, but. I can't imagine I'm using the dusting brush much, but the crevice tool, certainly, I use the crevice tool a lot. Not going to bother docking it, I think I'll just do what I did with the V7 and literally just leave it on my desk with the, dock, with the charger plugged in behind it and it can just sit there and charge. And I prefer that to having to wall mount it. Tinko are quite bad for that in that they have contact pins and you have to screw the thing up in order to use it. I'm, I'm quite glad that not all the cordless vacuum cleaners follow that model. Right, you can go over there, you can come off because, oh yeah, it's got a yellow plug on it. I sort of forgot about that. <laughs> I'll need to get the adapter out that I'm currently using for the Tinko Carpet One because they sent me an EU version as well. The controversial-ish floor head. The old side brush isn't doing terribly well. It's certainly going a little bit iffy. There is a spare in the box with it. Floor head, it's okay. So it's not a deep cleaner, but with its wide open path, it is amazing at picking up chunky bits from the floor. So, oh, then the floor's clean now, so there's not much point in using it. Again, being the coldest vacuum cleaner, the quick pickup is fine. All I would ever do is pick the bits up might have to use it on max a bit because it does lack the raw power being a cheap recorder's vacuum cleaner that's always a slight caveat but yeah you've got the side brushes that work very well indeed oh, also very quieter a lot quieter even on high than the Dyson V7 is for sure, it's all very comfy to hold. And this is actually something for the Henry Quick. Obviously, at the time of filming, this has not been released yet. It's got a similar sort of handle, and it's the thing I'm not sure about. On this, it's quite nice, I think. It, it, it is, you know, it's in a comfortable position to hold, works all right. It's just picked up a nice little chunk of fluff from the floor. There we go, look, G50, that was it. Ezyme G50. Marvellous. So yes, another cordless vacuum cleaner. That doesn't stand up on its own. We've not had many of those, sadly, but we've had a few. We might have some more. And yes, this should hopefully buzz around for a month. We'll have to see how much more tatty that little side brush gets, which is a shame because it's a very nice idea. Certainly on my laminate, on the edging strips, the brush just goes underneath it and flicks no end of rubbish out straight into the air path and straight up. It's a very well designed, if not terribly deep or hardcore cleaning floor head. And the whole machine, I can't remember how much it costs now, I have to I have to have a look and put an updated price on. But it's certainly not an expensive cordless. I think from my use of it so far, it's okay for you know not your main cleaner. Oh, I still have my many other vacuum cleaners. The pneumatic NBV is still sat there, still gets used a lot. This will just fill in the gaps, so to speak. So yeah, going to be using this for the month of July. How do you think I'm going to get on? What do you think is going to bother me about it? Do you think anything is going to break? Do let me know and then we'll see if you're right or wrong at the end of the month when we move on to August. So yeah, very 
Nice indeed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. What vacuum cleaner are you using for the month of June? July? What did, ah, yeah, July. What did you use for June? What will you use for July if you're doing the sort of weird thing that I do and changing your vacuum cleaner every month? Do let me know down below. But until the next video and the next time, I and this will see you soon. Bye bye.